Hi, welcome back to the workshop for episode two of the Telecaster refurbishment project. And in this episode, we're going to be stripping off all the old finish from both the body and the neck. So we can have a really good look at them and just figure out what needs doing to them before we proceed with the rest of the project. So we'll pick up from where we left off last time where we got all the hardware off and we kind of appraised this for any damage and there doesn't seem to be a huge amount that needs sorting out. So in this episode, I'm going to get the lacquer stripped off both the body and the neck. But to start with, I'm going to break out the orbital sander and I'm going to start with some 80 grit pads, which is quite aggressive. Um, but I want to get as much of this finish off as quickly as I can without messing around with it too much. Once I've got the bulk of it off, I'll then work my way through the grits, probably up to about 220, just to give myself a nice, flat, smooth finish. And I can then look at whether I need to grain fill this or not. It's been grain filled before, but I would imagine we'll go through that, so it probably will need doing again. But if I remember correctly, this is some quite close grained ash, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, so I'm about 10 minutes into the sanding and it is coming up quite nicely. I'm nearly through most of the top, um, which is great. Um, it is kind of clagging up my paper quite badly though. I think the top coat I used was an acrylic and it doesn't harden like a nitro lacquer would. So it always remains a little bit soft, especially if you get some heat into it. But I'm not doing bad. I'm kind of still on the first pad, so that's, that's fine. So I'm just gonna get back to this, get everything off the top and the back, and then I think I'm just going to use my oscillating bobbin sander to work as much as I can off the sides. And then we'll take it from there. Okay, we're getting through the back as well now. We've only got this little corner to do. Um, these double action sanders are absolutely amazing. They do a wonderful job and they'll make short work of a job like this. But you do need to be careful with them, especially when you've got a rough pad on. So at the moment I've got like an 80 grit pad on and if you're not careful, that will remove a lot of material and it might not necessarily be in the right place. What I've seen in the past um, in my professional life, people that are new to using this kind of equipment have a tendency to try and kind of dig in with one edge to try and speed the job up. If you've got a lot of experience and if you're working with finer grits, you can get away with doing that kind of stuff, but only if you know what you're doing. If you don't, you can very quickly introduce unevenness and divots into your job. Um, so for stuff like this, you really do need to make an effort to keep it as flat as possible and then you'll end up with a beautifully flat, smooth surface.
Okay, so that's done to 80 grit now. Feeling really nice. So I'm just gonna give it a quick going over with some 120 and we can move on to the sides and get those stripped off. Okay, so that's the, the front and the back done. And I do absolutely adore the figure in this body. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. And I really want to make sure when I repaint this that that figure is going to be visible through the paint. So there won't be a, an awful lot of the butterscotch color going on. Okay, so I know I said I was gonna get my bobbin sander out to do around these edges. Um, and that is quite an extreme way of doing it. So I just thought before I resorted to that, I'm just gonna try a heat gun and a scraper. And I'm just gonna see if I can get it off that way because that will leave me kind of less sanding to do on the edge. So I'm just get into the vise. And we'll see how much this finish likes heat. would appear it doesn't like heat very much at all so that's going to be a really good way of getting this cleaned off I still need to be careful because the last thing I want to do is to scorch the wood but I think that's much preferable to sanding Okay, so that's, that's the old finish stripped off. It's gone quite well. Really happy to have got everything off the edges without scorching it or anything. So that's great. It has highlighted one or two little repairs that need doing. But I'm going to set this aside for a few minutes um, and I'm going to kind of get the neck to the same stage as this. However, stripping this neck off is going to be quite challenging, really because there's so little of it, it kind of precludes using the sander on the back. And obviously I can't sand the front because the frets are in the way and we don't want to be kind of damaging those because they don't actually need a great deal of work. I can't use heat on it because if I was to introduce a load of heat into the neck, there's a possibility that I could bend it or warp it or twist it. So realistically, it only leaves me kind of one option and that's to take a utility knife blade and to scrape all of the finish off this. I can perhaps sand the headstock, um, back of the headstock especially. But the rest of it is gonna be a bit of hard work with a scraper. However, I'm hoping that it's actually gonna come off fairly easily. As that demonstrates. So that's 
good news. And the good thing about using a, a blade to scrape it is that you can really easily follow the curve of the fretboard without causing a problem there. Okay, so I'll just work my way down the rest of this board. So that's the fretboard done. Um, took me about 20 minutes, so not too bad really. And it's come off nice and cleanly, so I'm hoping we can do the same on the back of the neck. And this job won't take too long. Okay, so all that leaves now is the front of the headstock and a few little bits around the side to get cleaned up. Uh, unfortunately, this means I'm gonna have to lose the decal, which is a shame, but there you go, can't be helped. Just gives an opportunity to show you how to make one of these though, so that's all good. Okay, let's get it done. Okay, so that's the neck all stripped off now. Um, there's a few little bits and pieces of, of lacquer in these little details, but I'm gonna completely reshape this area anyway, so that will go when I do that. Um, the only bit I haven't cleaned off is on this end, where I kind of signed and dated it in 2011. So I'm gonna keep that on and just spray over that just for posterity's sake as much as anything. Well, that's everything stripped off and I'm actually really pleased with the way that's gone. The next logical step is to have a look at them, find any damage that there might be and repair that before we move on. But that's something I'll cover in the next episode. So as always, all the usual stuff, like if you've liked, subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.